First up at 6 o'clock, breaking news on two major public health threats. New flu numbers in Connecticut reveal nine additional deaths since last week, and concerns over the coronavirus are growing. We are learning about more places taking precautions as a result. And tonight, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention believe more cases of the coronavirus are expected here in the U.S. Right now, 60 people have been diagnosed here. None of those cases, though, are in Connecticut. We do have team coverage tonight. Mark Robbins is looking at what some colleges are doing, but we are going to kick things off with Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Courtney Zeller looking at the similarities and differences between the flu and the coronavirus. Courtney. Well, Aaron, if you haven't traveled to an area where the coronavirus is present, doctors say you have a very low chance of getting it. But we are also learning tonight for both viruses, there aren't many differences. For Colleen Martinez, she is one of the millions of people who came down with the flu this year. I was lucky enough to catch it early and get the Tamiflu, so the symptoms really dissipated after the first couple of days. This week, flu numbers are down almost one and a half percent from last week. Nine more people have died and 321 people have been hospitalized. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention believe more cases of the coronavirus are expected in the U.S. Both are similar. Well, both influenza and COVID-19 are caused by viruses, but they're caused by different viruses. Both cause fever, cough, body or muscle aches, and fatigue. Both can be mild or severe and can result in pneumonia. Both can spread from person to person by someone talking, coughing, or sneezing. Doctors say there might be another way an infected person spreads the coronavirus, but it's still unknown. Currently, if you have fevers, muscle aches, cough, difficulty breathing, it's more likely that you have influenza than that you have COVID-19. While there is a flu vaccine, there isn't a vaccine for the coronavirus, and that could take time. It takes, I've heard estimates of a year to a year and a half to develop a vaccine. But with both viruses, good hygiene, like washing your hands, is key to prevention. I have some concerns because it is growing, but I do know that I'm going to take precautions for me and my family. And doctors believe the flu could last until May of this year. So if you haven't gotten your flu shot yet, doctors say it is not too late. We're live at the Mobile Newsroom tonight. Courtney Zeller, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.